Hey everyone, Chase here from Mentopology. Today I'm going to show a couple different methods for applying a texture to the steering wheel, but more importantly I'm going to demonstrate how we can analytically drive the mixing between textures. The first step is to generate textures on the steering wheel, and I've done this twice. One uses our noise function, and one uses our periodic lattice function, and simply subtracts the periodic lattice from the steering wheel. We do have videos available on both these approaches for texturing. I would encourage you to check them out on our website, anthropology.com. Today, uh, what I really want to cover is how to use an analytical expression to drive one mix it, the mixture of one texture to another. To do this, we're going to use this ramp block, but more importantly, what we are ramping off of is this analytical expression here. The first step you'll notice is the absolute value of the y-axis, and this will um, give you exactly what you expect, simply zero to um, zero at the origin, and it increases both in the negative and positive y. We can probe the values here, and uh, you get just corresponding to the distance from the origin. Next step we're going to do is actually stretch this, um, and it, do it doesn't change it very much. It's simply stretch, or in this case, compressing the y values. Uh, penultimately, we are going to take the sine of this y axis, and you'll get exactly what you expect: a sine wave uh, originating at the origin and traveling from the zero to positive one to negative one um, along the y-axis. Now the really cool thing we're going to do here is we're going to use our remap cylindrical field. A lot of our clients typically remap objects more or less to uh, cylindrical coordinates, but we can actually do that to fields or expressions as well without getting it deep into the math. What a sine wave looks like, uh, or what a, si a y sine wave looks like, remap to cylindrical coordinates, um, can be seen by again using our field viewer or the F hotkey and you'll notice here it drives um, it starts at uh, 0.5 and as we go around the um, origin it changes to 0 and then back up to 0.5 again. So now that we have this sine wave um, in this case it's a single period of the sine wave and it's actually stretched um, but once we have something we're happy with what we can do is then map one texture to this lower value and another texture to the higher value. That's exactly what we do using this ramp block. And you'll notice here I assign the uh, noise function to a, a lower value and a periodic uh, texture to the um, higher value. And then we simply plug in the cylindrical uh, remapping as our object and you'll notice we get exactly what we'd expect. A uh, noise function where the value was lower and then as it travels towards the higher um, y value or uh, the higher value essentially of the field we get this periodic function. Now this is still fully parameterized so I could go in here and change the unit cell type or the number of divisions as well as the noise periodicity or the um, depth but for all intents and purposes uh, I've demonstrated how to use an analytical expression to drive the mixture of textures um, and I would encourage you guys to check out this file, learn a little more and try inputting your own expression um, and mix in, mix in between textures of your own. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to reach out with any questions to either me personally or to sales at entopology.com. Thanks.